Alright, so just a quick little start to the video. We got our pool cleaned up. It was green, so the algae's still on the bottom. That's, uh... Pretty nice. Alright, everybody, so here's my homemade water pump. All it needs is a top piece to cover this up, and we'll be good. Um, I did try it before, and this is actually leaking somewhere in here. Um, I did put an O-ring on this motor shaft, so I don't think that's where it's coming from. I think what probably happened is where I put the silicone around the motor to seal it to the base is where it's leaking. But, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go glue a piece on here, and then we'll test Alright, so I just realized something really unfortunate. There's actually a crack in the laundry lid right there. So that is going to mess it up. So I'm gonna try to glue it back together, but I don't know if it's... I think it'll actually be really strong, because this is just hot glued on, and it's surprisingly strong. Let's see if I can make a circle with this. Kinda. Just right there we're missing a spot, but that's okay. Alright, so I'm just about done. I got the crack glued up. Styrofoam stuck in there. There we go. I think it should be a little bigger though. Alright, so I'm going to be filling this kiddie pool to test it. Okay, so I got it sort of on. Guess that's enough. It just puts so much stress on this when I do that. So. Make sure to unpink this hose. Okay. Okay, so 
Doesn't look like there's any kinks. So... I'm gonna hook it up. And for anyone worried, this is only 12 volts, I can't flash me, so, it's fine. So I actually have this motor wired back to me, so, I have to connect it like that. Motor heated up a lot if I didn't have power. So I'm gonna have to resist it a little. Okay, so that's on low power. I'm going to try mid power. That's pretty good. Let me see if I can reset the voltage. That's a little better. Alright, I'm going to go full power. That was actually pretty good. Uh oh, the water launched over to my cat. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty good. Actually, the hose is kinked right here. It's not good. It's been kinked for so long, it kind of wants to stay kinked. No, it's starting to rain. Dang it! Okay, so now I'm gonna set up a gallons per minute test. So, I have this jug. As you can see, it's one gallon. So, this hole is actually. So 
for anyone wondering, this is a power building. I got the power room. Okay, so I'm going to give it full power, and we'll see how long it takes to fill that thing up. So that was like six seconds. I didn't do it completely accurately because I wanted to make sure that the hose filled with water. That's why I started the pump and then started the timer when I started seeing the jug moving. But it was also leaking here, so that kind of compensates for it. Okay, so that's how many seconds it took to fill up the gallon. Okay, so 60 divided by, let's just say it took 7 seconds. Okay, so approximately 8.5 gallons per minute. Now, let's times that by 60 to see, oops, times it by 60 to see how much gallons per hour it is. 514. That's pretty good. However, I must say that it does not have very much pressure. It probably doesn't even have 1 PSI. But, it's got a high flow rate at least. Alright, so I don't want to waste a leftover bit of water in the kitty pool so I'm just gonna pump it into the pool so it's over there um, I'm gonna put the camera in the tripod hey Furman all right so this should actually just again.
Okay, so let's see if the water reached the other end yet. Nope. Keep in mind, it is a very long hose. And also, we got a kink here, of course. Oh, we got water flowage. It's not much. There we go. Hmm. Staying hot. I feel hot. It's weird. It's getting quite warm in there. Still not pumping. All right, so I've put tape on the kink, so it, squeezing it to kind of not want to kink as much, but still got a little something there, but better than nothing. So I'm going to set it to like mid-range resistance. There we go. So I just want to show you how much of a hose this is running through. So it goes there, there, runs all the way around that loop, comes back, goes over the trampoline, and comes down to the green hose where it loops, and then comes back. And it's pumping. No tricks. Wires glowing quite a bit. It's a lot of load on it. So that probably heated it up quick. Just as long as it's not fried. So yeah, I mean, you can see the hose. It just makes a loop right there. So one more thing I wanted to point out is there, here's this Harbor Freight pump. And it's, um, I'm going to compare it to size with mine. Just to get an idea. So mine's just a little bit longer, probably they're about the same thickness, and this one is only 240 gallons per hour. Um, and it's not submersible. Mine was meant to be submersible, but it kind of does leak. So, yeah.
thanks for watching, and this was just a random experiment uh, build I wanted to do, and see you next time. Okay, so it does actually have a bit of pressure. I'm actually really surprised with that. You can see, once again, no tricks, but it's been running for a long time. I should really turn it off. It's smoking, but that's just the wire.